Well, we are excited for today. We have Miss Ashley. Miss Ashley in Yes, there you go. <laughs> um, I think I had it. I had it in my phone mm-hmm. wrong for like three years. It's okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, this isn't interesting. I'm sure you're not the only one. <laughs> yeah. So Ashley has been with us for a while, and we're really excited to sit down and have a, a fun conversation with you. So. A long yeah. time. A long time. Um, what are you, so everybody sees you on the worship platform, but you do a lot more here. Can mm-hmm. you tell us a little bit about all the things that you're plugged in at Heritage with? Yes. Well, I'm on the internship uh, with Caesar and Dylan okay. and Pastor Alex. Um, we've been doing that for how long? Three years? Yeah, it's been like three years. Three years? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But, yeah, we've been doing that for three years. Um, it's been awesome just being able to just sit down like with pastor justin and just receive his wisdom is like i don't know like i don't take that lightly that's especially as a young person like in ministry i feel like i i don't know i it just it's like an honor i know it sounds weird it's like an honor to just sit and like learn from him he has a lot of wisdom a lot of wisdom so yeah so i do that and I know y'all know, like, I'm over at the youth, and I do worship over there, and also do worship in the main. I work with Aaliyah in accounting, so I do kind of the administrative, kind of help with the, yeah, you know, stuff like that behind the scenes. So, That's cool. Yeah. Do you like being on staff at a church, is it? I do. It's very new. Like, I, it's, you know, I, I don't know. I feel weird sometimes, because I'm like, I would do this for free like I don't want uh, yeah. anything it's just weird still getting used to being on staff at, at a, a church, church. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so but it's been really good a lot of like I you know I just I like to learn things and accounting like that was new I've never done anything like that I didn't go to school for that <laughs> yeah good for you <laughs> so it's like you know but it's been really good it, and it's been like stretching me also and Aaliyah she just so cool to you know work with and she has a lot of wisdom too mm-hmm. like I learned a lot from her so yeah it's been really good really good how yeah. did you um how did you come to find hair because you were in the youth so you came when you came were you straight into youth or were you here before then too okay so my mom actually found heritage of faith because she would watch Jerseyville on tv and terry Seville, um, she watched her a lot. I'm like, I didn't know who they were, but, mm-hmm. but you know, she did. And she was like, oh, I want to visit this church. And she, she would always ride past it. And uh, she found out that it was Jerry Seville's church. So she um, she brought me and my brother and my sister, you know, we all came with her one Sunday morning and the adults um and I, yeah, it was the adults because I think at the time they did youth on Sunday evenings. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and I think we found out, hey, like we have youth tonight. They get to think I made an announcement or something, and she was like, "You want to go?" And I was like, "Sure, like, <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not?" So um, I did go, you know, like on and off a couple times. It was it was something new, you know. For me, like, I always believed in God as a little girl because my mom, like, she would read us the Bible before bed. She would pray with us. My dad, too, when um, we were all in church. Um, So, you know, I kind of always had that. And I would talk to God, too, not really understanding. Like, well, I think I did understand. But it just wasn't, like, I don't know. like surface level Yeah, it was, like, surface level. Like, okay, I know to pray. and But, like, I know deep inside as a little girl, I always knew, like, you know, there was God, mm-hmm, <laughs> like, right. you know, and so I, I remember going and I was just, mind you, I was really quiet and, you know, I still you? am. Quiet? I know, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was really quiet and like, you know, I just, we had just been through a lot of stuff. So, you know, coming to that environment, it was just kind of like, what is this? Like Something new. Something new. But I didn't realize how much I needed it. Because right when I came in, it was just like, man, like something feels different. So I went that night and, you know, they were just so loving. I just remember feeling like 
I was, even it was my first night. So just, I remember feeling like I was part of a family because they were also like, oh my gosh, like, what's your <laughs> name? And it, Chi-Chi was there. It's yeah. Bosa, Etten, Esther. Nice. Man, oh, that was like man, way I back those days. I that missed that crew. Yeah. I know. So, you know, I was just being around them, Auburnie. I remember her being in there. Um, it was just so, it was just different. Like, I've never been in an like the atmosphere I like that you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying yeah and I think the first thing that I noticed was like the worship and you know I'm the guy the girl that was in the corner you know did you so, sing then I did not sing I did not sing I actually got you didn't saved. know you could sing no I people would tell me oh, okay and I'll be like nah. <laughs> yeah. I mean I like to sing I would sing all the time but I would never like Oh, I can sing. Like, I want to sing. You never would have said, like, yeah, no. I sing. And I never was singing in front of people, I'll tell you. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. But I remember going on and off, you know, sometime. I think it was a few months, like, I would go. But I would always go to youth. I would not go to Maine because, you know, I was terrified of adults. So <laughs> <laughs> I just stayed in the youth area for at first. And I remember one night, I first got saved there. Like, I, you know, by myself, like, I made that decision. Um, I knew my sister was there at the time. My brother, he was in preteens. And my sister would all, would come to me with me sometimes. Um, but I remember one night, you know, they made, like, if you want to, if you never made Jesus the Lord of your life. And I was just like, I think I have, like, said the prayer when I was little. But I was just like, I want to say it again. Yeah. So I said it. You know, I think I've said it a couple of times just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure like okay like we're good this right is, this a refresher is good. I'm this is this, good i'm on yes. this side of yes. yes this is good so i remember like doing that and you know naturally like i'm young and th like this is new to me so i'm like you know man this is like i don't know what this is but i, I like it like it's something like different because you know i've just seen a lot of not really consistency right. in my family. I grew up in church with my family. I've seen my dad get drunk in the Holy Ghost, like in the car, like they're just praying. I've seen that. And then we went through stuff and that kind of stopped happening. Right. And then it's like, okay, now I'm back at church and I'm just like, hey, how, like, what do I do with this? I want, in my spirit, I wanted, I wanted that. Yeah. Like I've always wanted family. Like, that's always been in me as a little girl. Yeah. Like, when my parents would go places, like, to church, I was always with them. If they left me at his my grandma's house or wherever, I would start crying, and they would turn all the way back just to pick me up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when that kind of, I feel like that kind of was stolen from me as at a young you age. You started craving that, and I that's started, what you wanted. Yeah, I started craving that. So when I found that, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, do I lean into this, or is this okay? Like, yeah. Can I? Because it's different. It was yeah. uncharted territories for right. you. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember it was 2014. I went to Discovery Camp and my mom, I'm so grateful. Like it was God that she told me to go because I always get emotional <laughs> because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where I would be if, you know, she hears from God. You know, I don't care about whatever happened. My mom, she has always, you know, heard from God. Yeah. But um, I remember I went and. It was so fun. Like, I got so out of my comfort zone. Like, I was talking. Like, I mean, Braylon <laughs> Randall. Like, uh -huh. that was my, after that, we were, like, BFFs. Like, forever. <laughs> I love her so much. But, like, I was, like, that's, I think at that time, that's where, for the first time, I felt, like, what joy really was. Like, you know, things at home were still, like, kind of bumpy. But I was just, like, I had so much joy. Like, and I came home, I brought that back with me. And after that, I was like, oh, I have to have more of this. Like, I have to, like, this is it, you know? So um, I just started going all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just, after that, I was like, this is where I want to be at. And I needed that. And um, so, but yeah. And you're, look at where you are now. I know, yeah. With the church. Yeah. 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 And I think it's so crazy because... You know, I've been coming to church by myself yeah. for since years, <laughs> you know, since I was maybe four, maybe 14 going on 15. Um, 
you know, something happened and with my, like my dad, Mm -hmm. you know, he's not really around. He's alive. Right. (laughs) He's not (laughs) around. He's not really like there. Like, so he kind of missed our teenage time, you know? Mm -hmm. I just remember like in that moment, like going to church, like after, you know, whatever happened, I was just like, I'm going to stay. Like, what else, what, what else is there? I kind of had a Peter moment where it's yeah, just like, where, where else am I going to go? Yeah. Like, like I've seen other, th- I've seen this happen. I've seen that happen. Like I've, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, there's nowhere else, where else can I go? Yeah. Like, so that was just it for me. So I just made the decision at 15 years old, 14, 15 years old, that I was, I'm going to stay. That's wise for a young person, oh, someone yeah. of that age. Yeah, I mean, I, I mm. yeah, if not everyone would make those decisions, yeah. like go that way. You know what mm. I mean? I didn't, you know, people mm. don't people that's, you had to have that revelation for yourself yeah. and you made the right decision Yeah, and look at you now. Yeah. Mm. Look at you now. So you spent your high school years in youth. Yes. And then what happened after that? I actually started worship in youth. When Go Ministries right. came. Yes. Yeah. And Carrie, I don't know if you yes. remember Carrie. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. She kind of, Pastor Steve. Okay. I got to tell the story. <laughs> I love Pastor Steve. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, if it wasn't for Pastor Steve, I probably would not be singing. Pastor Steve, you know, I don't know how he found out that I could sing. I don't know who told him or, you know, I don't know who told him. Yeah. Uh, but he came up, t- I... Like, if y'all know me, like, I'm not going to ask to be in the front, like, yeah. or to be on a stage, like, or to sing in front of people, <laughs> especially at that time. Like, I'm just not that, like, oh, me, me, like, me. Yes. I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 You're, I'm good. But not because, like, I don't want, it's just, you know, I was still working through some, yeah. some, some fear yeah. there. So he was just like, hey, can you sing? And you want, they didn't have anyone to do worship, and they, if, you know, they would play video, you mm-hmm. know, but right. he was just like, Hey, you want to, yeah, you, you go, you do it. And I'm just like, you know, uh, me being like a people pleaser. And like, he's like, at the time was our youth pastor. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll do anything you ask me. <laughs> so, oh man, I got up there and it was oceans. Like she was singing in the background, but it was just me up there. And Wait, I'm there like, was nobody like playing guitar. No, 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 it was no, no. literally just it was you and a track. Literally just me and a track. Oh my gosh! Wild. <laughs> and I and that was my first time ever standing on a stage and singing in front of people. And it was a small room, like it wasn't like thirty million people. You know what there. I just thought? I was like, I'm so glad she can actually sing really good. <laughs> <laughs> it was gnarly, but I got up there. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just tell you. I'm gonna tell you, and then I'm gonna kind of back up a little bit. So when I got up there and I did it. I froze and like I turned I was staring at the screen just softly singing like I could not like at all (laughs) like I could not it was so embarrassing (laughs) and Caesar was there I remember like it was so not think about it so cringy (laughs) but (laughs) after that I'm so grateful for that moment because when I got off like I just started crying like I just cried Cause I was like, man, but it wasn't like a, it, you know, I, it was embarrassing, <laughs> but it was almost <laughs> like I had like a revelation though. Yeah. Was like, this is weighty. Like this is yeah. weighty. Like it's more than you just being able to sing. It's more than you just stand on a stage. Like it's weighty. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just to back, back up a little bit. When I first knew that I was like, oh, I want to do this. Like, I want to worship. I want people to encounter God like this during worship. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, I used to stand in the back of the room, you know. It took me a while to kind of feel like I could worship, like, freely, like, you know. But I was in the back of the room, and one night during worship, um, for the first time, I heard the Lord tell me that I love you. And, you know, that's when my, like, after my dad and stuff like that. So I was just like, oh, my goodness, like, I just heard God speak to me like mm-hmm. during worship. And after that, like I started lifting my hands, like, cause before I would be like, and no one else is doing that. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and I finally was just like, I don't care. Like, 
like I just had that encounter for myself with the Lord. And I think a song was playing. I think it's called You Know Me by Stephanie Gretzinger. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I took those songs home with me in my own my own time and I just like would just play them over myself and like sing them. And I and I think for the first time I finally felt like seen and like God believed in me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So um my point in saying that was you know, I think at that moment I had I think God was like teaching me like if you want to do this, like you have to bring that with you. Mm -hmm. How you brought those songs home with you and your like intimate intimate time with me, that's what you bring to the you know, to yeah. it like you know when you're if you're if you're called to do that, like that's what you bring. It's not it's much more than just a it's not about performing. Like right. you know what I mean? Right. So in that moment I was just like, oh, like, and I've been saved for like half a year. So it's like, <laughs> right. I think at that time. So I was like, how am I understanding this? Like, how am I getting this? And it was just the Holy Spirit. And I think that's when I knew, oh, you want me to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, yeah, anyway. It's really good. I mean, it's a powerful revelation to have. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter what area in the, in the, kingdom and the church mm -hmm. that you serve in that's the attitude you have to have like yeah. if you go into serving kids yes you want it to come out of that place of yeah. like worship and your intimate time with the lord like mm -hmm. like this is what i this is what yeah. i want to do this is the assignment right now yeah. it doesn't matter i mean you could be cleaning toilets like right i don't want to put like a preference on it but understanding mm -hmm. that anytime you step out to do something mm -hmm. for the lord it's got to be like it's got to come from here, from yeah. your heart, and not necessarily just because right. I'm good at something. Exactly. Right? Not because I, I might have some kind of talent mm -hmm. or something yeah. like that. So. And I think that's the point of, like, what the Lord has been teaching me even today. And what I want to, you know, pour into those, because we're developing a worship team for the youth. I'm trying to get that kind of growing. Um, and I think that's one of the things that I want to like just, you know, share with them, you know, because I think it's like, especially young people, because, you know, I see like we have like a few and like, and you, I see their hearts for worship yeah. and I'm just like, man, like let that purity stay there. And it's not just about singing or being on a platform, but it's just like in everything, like everything, like you, what at home, like it's intimacy and in everything that you do. Like I want them to know intimacy with the Father, like with God, because yeah. that's what I experience, you know, during worship or, yeah. you know, it's, and, and that's just what I want them to, you know, realize it's just much more than that. And we're called to him, like we're called to him, you know, not a platform, right? not a, I mean, those are tools, like, you know. Sure. Oh, yeah. But, and I had to realize that too, like I'm not called, and Pastor Dustin, I think he said it one time in, um, one of our intern meetings that I'm not called to, you know, the pulpit, like I'm called to him. He right. calls us to himself because that's the whole point mm -hmm. is to do it with him. It's supposed to, we're supposed to be communing with him and walking with him, you know, in everything that we do, it, it's all for him. Right. That's so interesting because, um, we've sat down with, with all of those people. We've sat down mm -hmm. with Caesar and, uh, Pastor Alex and Azanel mm -hmm. and Dylan and Abby and they all had kind of a similar response, like, mm -hmm. hey, we want this generation to know the Father. Yeah. We want them to understand the love of God. We want them to have an intimate relationship that's authentic and genuine mm -hmm. and not performative. Right. And uh, um, when in your time in youth, how do you see that playing out for this generation? Oh, man. Well, lately, I know it's been gnarly. <laughs> like, our services... Um, I think Dylan mentioned it in, you know, when y'all talked to him, but I've never seen them. It was for a while where it was just kind of like, Lord, like what's going on? Like, aren't they, it is not like they weren't, maybe they were just like processing, right. like, mm -hmm. is this okay? And I know what that feels like, like to feel like, is it okay if I, is this okay? Right? Is this yeah. a safe place where I can just like, you know, like if I need to cry, like, can I do that during worship? Like right. if, if I want to get on my knees, can I do that? Can like, you know, just that, that safety. And, I, and for a long time I prayed, I was like, Lord, like what, what's going on? Like why? Like, you know, but you know, and I would just continually continue to pray for them for that. And I think they finally was just like, they feel safe. They, they feel like 
they're in a safe place to where it's just like, man, like I just, you know, to be honest also in their worship or just even with us in conversation to feel like they can just be honest about where they are, you know, and like how, like, you know, they, we go, they go through stuff and I, in these oh, days yeah, I yeah. can only imagine what oh, they're yeah. going through. I thought it was hard for me in high school. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like this whole another thing. But like I, we've just seen like such a hunger in them, and they they want truth. Like they they want the truth, and I we all do. Like yeah. and I want that for them because it's just like I grew up with a family that kind of kept their I don't know their feelings like or they're just hard. Like they have walls, yeah. so it's like nobody was honest about what's going on. It's all like a secret and it's all like you can't say anything. Hush, hush. Right. Yeah, I grew up around that and I have been told that. Like you're just a kid. Like it's not, you know, so I I think for my heart and our heart for them is just for them to feel like you are safe. Like right. you have a voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. So but it's been so good and they've opened so much, opened up so much during worship. We've had really really great nights where you could just tell that they just want it so bad yeah. they want it so bad i don't know if they answered your question but. yeah it did i just I, as i was listening to you talk it all of those mm-hmm. people we've talked to that are that are in youth now mm-hmm. carry that same that same passion to see them really yeah. connect to god which i like andy i didn't have that growing mm-hmm. up yeah i didn't have any of that yeah, yeah. and uh it's it's powerful when a young person can really step into all that God has for them mm-hmm. at their age and their season. Yeah. And um, I've said it lots of times, but there's no junior Holy Spirit. No. So the Holy Spirit can move That's right. powerfully in the youth mm-hmm. and in kids and right. in main service and watch God work. Mm-hmm. Um, when you think about that translating to platform and now you do quite a bit in mm-hmm. main service. Also you're on, you're one of the lead singers on our worship team. Mm-hmm. How do you take, your intimate relationship with the Lord and bring it to uh, a platform Mm -hmm. for him with your gift. Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you blend those? I know for Maine, it's just keeping that intimacy. You know, it's not just about me. Oh, you're over there in youth. And it's just the same. Like, I don't know. I think it was Jen Johnson. She said something about like, I don't know, somebody, it's not like a worship, like you took your worship cap off. And then she was just like, you should never took it off. Like you, like, you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. so I don't know. I just guess that just, like I said before, just bringing at home, because that's where it starts. It starts Mm -hmm. at home. So I guess just bringing that, you know, to Maine and, uh, and and then like, it's just, Is there anything different? Between the two, oh yeah, atmospheres. <laughs> like, <laughs> it most definitely, most definitely, it is different because and youth, you know, it's a little more because they're youth, like so. But right. in Maine, you have all, and I know, like for I'm still getting used to it. But like I said, it's that intimacy and that dependency on the Holy Spirit because when you have like broadcast cameras and like the lights are very bright and you're using in ears and it's a lot of thing like little natural things that kind of it just can be a distraction if you allow it. Yeah. So I think you know over time, and I've had to grow in this. It was just like. Go to that place. Like, I go to the secret place, like, in those things. And, like, Lord, and sometimes I have to ask the Lord, like, Lord, help me. Like, you know, I don't want to be distracted. Like, this is not about me. Like, I want you to sing through me these songs. Like, I want you to sing through me. And when they, you know, I know some people kind of look, <laughs> you know, at the stage, but I don't want them to see me. I want them to see you. So I think just tapping into that intimacy you know, regardless if it is in the youth or in the men, I think that is what kind of helps me, you know, up there. But you're right. It does start at home because I, I mean, I've told you this before, just Mm -hmm. in like the past couple of years, there's been, you can noticeably, noticeably see like a change in you and how you are on the platform in main service. Mm -hmm. I've only seen you in youth a couple times, but I do Mm -hmm. know like in main service, you are way more bold. You can tell that you, you you just seem more Mm -hmm. comfortable on the stage. And that, I mean, over the past few years, you've just like stepped Mm -hmm. out into that. I feel like a lot more 
And I'm sure that does start at, you know, you have to start at home. You have Mm -hmm. to start in those secret places. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. I had to get over a lot of fear because it's so easy. And like I said before, in the past, I had some things towards like Mm -hmm. adults just because I've been hurt and like put down by adults. So and I had to kind of I didn't know I needed healing in that area. So I think being up there also kind of helped me push past the it's not about that like it's like the lord was you know that was just something that the enemy would distract me with yeah was oh like you're in maine now like don't mess up (laughs) because they're gonna know they're adults they've been doing this a long time (laughs) yeah this is being recorded so be careful but you know i've had honestly if i'm honest with you i've had those moments over there not to stay in like you know the negative, but I'm just trying to make a point of like, I've had to really like lean on the Holy spirit for his strength and his, like his boldness, his confidence, because again, it's not, it's never about me. It's about him. So we were saying earlier about like seeing people go through the church and how it's crazy. Cause it makes me feel like super old and right? stuff, <laughs> but I will say like, it's also cool to see, like I was one of your youth leaders you were and one of my youth leaders. it's just crazy. It is crazy to see like wow. you at the beginning and then you now leading, you know, mm-hmm. so you've been up there leading service without like Danny up there before. And yeah. you know, that's, it is cool to see. It's just mm-hmm. cool to see the transition and just see the growth in yeah. you and in all of y'all. Like, it's just, mm-hmm. it's crazy to see. It's pretty yeah. incredible what it God is, is doing mm-hmm. yeah. in in your life. And also, I, I agree. It's it's inspiring cool. too for adults. Mm-hmm. Like, it I is. mean, for us, I mean, I'm not that much older than you, but mm-hmm. it is just, it's inspiring for us to see, like, I want to grow like that too. You don't mm-hmm. stop right. growing. Like, right. yeah, just because you become, yeah. you graduate high school, it's not like, oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Your growth cap is on. It's like you, you continue to grow, continue to grow. And Mm -hmm. it is inspiring to see. Yeah, it is. So speaking of that, what's, uh, what do you see God speaking to you for the future? Ew. It's a loaded (laughs) question. (laughs) What's your five year plan? No, and you don't have to have it figured out. I mean, I think, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing in two years. I mean, really? Mm -hmm. Right. So, so I just want to know what God's speaking to you about. Yeah. Well, man. I don't know what he's going to (laughs) do. I don't know. But I do know, like, on my heart right now is he's put on, I know it's a desire from him, is to really pour into the younger people, like Mm -hmm. our youth. I don't know. I think that's just where I am right now is to really just pour into them, like, what was installed into me. Now I feel like he's like, okay, now it's time for you to pass it on to them, you know, and I'm only 24. So I'm like, (laughs) but what a gift to pass on to them and understanding that anything you do when Mm -hmm. you serve God needs to come from a place of relationship with him. That's exactly, that's a revelation that people Mm -hmm. struggle to get their entire lives. So you pour that into the next generation, we're going to be, and there's always Mm -hmm. a next generation. Like we're, we, we're about to have more kids go into youth. And Mm -hmm. so you have like a brand new group of kids who Mm -hmm. need, what you needed, Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I really believe that's, I know right now for a fact that that's where he wants me to kind of focus on, you know, and kind of even grow more like in leadership, you know, and like, cause I know that transition from youth to leader was very hard for me. (laughs) Like after that, I really was really stretched. Like, you know, Pastor Bob, Pastor Rick, like even Pastor Cassie, like, man, like I'll always honor them because they were a big part of, you know, as to where I am right now. Mm -hmm, So I'll always, always honor them because they did stretch me so much. And and then too, like Cassie, Pastor Cassie, um, I don't know. She just saw something in me that I I did not. and, and, And she just believed in me when at times I didn't and not just her like a lot of my leaders like you um Marty you know like you know just 
I don't know. I'm just so grateful. And I was always honor. I just always honor like all my leaders. So. Leadership is important. And yeah. It's not a small task. Exactly. But you're right. That transition into being a leader. Yeah. Is. It's gnarly. Yeah. It's kind of like <laughs> you have to pray about it because you do. Yeah. You do. You <laughs> a really lot do. comes with it. It does. Yeah. So I, I, that's just what I want. I want. I just want to be one like, hey, I want to see that in them because I do already. I see it in them and I just want to help like, you know, bring it out of them. Like just like I was helped to bring it out yeah. of me, like, you know. Um, so, yeah, I know that's where I am right now. And I just think, you know, personally, something that the Lord, like I've been having big revelation about is, again, just the Holy Spirit and how important it is to really be sensitive to him. Like now I'm just just really, really being intentional about, you know, just being led by the Holy Spirit. I think that's what he's been teaching me even more. Not that in, I haven't been, but just like even more so. Yeah, that's good. Just leaning on the Holy Spirit because there's just so much more to him than we think. We think, you know, and I and I know like we hear this a lot, like, He's, he's literally our helper. Like he was sent here to help us. And I think sometimes we're just like, oh yeah, Holy Spirit. And we want him just for the, the goosey bumps moments. And it's just <laughs> like, no, he's a person. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's a person and he f has feelings <laughs> like we do. Like, you know, so it's just, we need the Holy Spirit. And it's so funny, Pastor Justin has been like talking about that on Sunday because God has been already dealing with me about that for months before he even went into, that's so cool how that happens. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yes, I hear from the Lord. <laughs> that is good. That so is good. yeah, that's where I am right now. And, and that's just what the Lord has been, you know, Speaking teaching me about right now. Well, I mean, you've been here long enough, even into your time, if you include your time in youth and all mm -hmm. those things to know that really the theme mm -hmm. in what, what heritage stands for is making winners in life. Yeah. It's behind you on the stage when you're yeah. up there and yeah. you see it once in a while. What is that? What does that statement mean to you? Mm. Making winners in life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are a winner. Already. Yes, 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 yes. I think for me, being a winner in life, and I'm going to just go back and say it again, because I think it's so true and it's been true for me, is dependency on God. If you depend on him, then you're set. And if you trust him to do whatever he's telling you to do and, you know, like I've, you know, or to be like a wife, to be a mom, like I feel like in him, letting him do that through you, I feel like you're winning. That That's what makes you a winner is your dependency on him. And that's humility also. I believe that that's what makes you a winner. I if like that it. answers no, your that question. Good. Solid. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. This has been a really enjoyable conversation. I just Yay. love hearing your heart for worship and for the youth and stuff. Um, thank you again thank for you. being willing. I know that it's outside of your... Um, Absolutely. Outside <laughs> my cover zone. <laughs> <laughs> like the introverted people that sit sometimes on our couch. Yeah. It's yeah. fun to watch you guys um, just flourish in the kingdom of God. But... Mm -hmm. um, you do have some great vocal chops and one of the blessings great. that we've had. Yeah, you're yeah. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to link the two songs uh, to that uh, Ashley led on Joy Out and Victory is Rising. You got to be the lead mm -hmm. singer on those two songs that are published, mm -hmm. produced worship songs that are incredibly anointed. And we'll also link the youth Instagram page yes. and... Um, Perhaps we'll have another heritage single coming out soon. Too. Perhaps. Yes, so perhaps. Yeah. But if it's available to link, we will for sure link it. And um, thank you again for joining us. And join us next week, guys, for another winning conversation. Yeah.